Hey guys, I'm Pranab and right now I'm cycling in the seaside town of Hastings and you're watching on Philui. Boom! Good afternoon guys. Today is a special day. We are joining with millions of people around the world to make a stand against climate change. So basically this week in Paris, I was telling you about this a little bit yes, in yesterday's vlog. This week in Paris, a lot of the major governments around the world are meeting to talk about how to tackle climate change and to make some commitments to that. And people all around the world are gathering today, wherever they are in whichever city, um, to stand up and say, we care about this and we want to make a difference. So we've come down to LA City Hall and we're joining with this crowd to, uh, to have a little rally, a climate change rally. This is Isabel and I just stopped her because I like this sign, keep fossil fuels in the ground. And I know a lot of you probably think I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I do use fossil fuels and I fly all the, over the place, but I'm so open for alternatives for, um, for plane fuel, maybe biofuel for planes, I don't know. And also I think my traveling hopefully for you guys can help you fall in love with the world a little bit more and, uh, and want to protect it and want to find alternatives for fossil fuels. That's a, that's a journey I'm on and I, I haven't figured it out yet. My plan this week was to actually be in Paris for the march, but because of the attack that happened like a few weeks ago, they, they cancelled all public uh, marching and demonstrating and stuff, so, um, so I thought I'd stay in LA and just join in here, um, because it really doesn't matter where you guys are around the world, um, making some kind of stand, uh, making some kind of step towards seeing these kind of things resolved uh, is important. Uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm not even there yet. I've got a long way to go uh, with doing my part, but um, I think if we can just just start the journey, I think that's what's important. Uh, and this is, this is a good thing to represent that today for me. This is cool. I want to take a moment to recognize that these lands we are standing on were once occupied by the Tongva peoples. Uh, welcome all you to our land here. And, uh, I'd like to sing a poem to welcome our spirits to be here together with you to help you what you're going to do. Sai da nu ga ni shu na shu Sai da nu ga ni shu na shu Na ha kwa ni shu na ha kwa ni have a chance to set long-sighted goals to change the course of humanity. And if they don't do it, we will! If anyone ever questions the existence of climate change by saying, I am not a scientist, <laughs> then respond this way. That is why you should listen to 97% of scientists who are telling us that we must act to avert the worst impacts of climate change. In Los Angeles, most people do not know their neighbors. Most of us do not know the people who live next door to us or down the street half a block. We are maybe the most alienated city in probably the most alienated society on this planet. And all of the consumer goods, all of the waste of resources, all of the investment in material things has taken place at the expense of our relationship to each other as human beings. Right, the speeches are finished. We're joining with everyone now. We're going on a march. I don't know where we're going, but uh, this is this is kind of like the first rally I've ever come along to. Also, Tim's here. Happens to be in LA right now. How you doing, man? At the march, man. Yeah. Come to represent the people. 
different individuals that feel like they make a difference. They can yeah. bring themselves there and we do make a difference. Yeah. This is cool. It's cool to be a part of something, even though it's probably only a, like a few hundred people, but it's, it's cool to feel a part of something. I always see these kind of things on the news, but I've never been like... <laughs> It's interesting for things like this because I don't think many people saw this march other than you guys watching and some of the news outlets sh showed it but in itself I don't know how much of a dif difference this makes but I think it's very symbolic and uh, I think it's cool to draw people together and, and realise that they're not alone. There's a few people that came along today that weren't planning to but they saw my tweet and snapchat about what's happening and uh, yeah it was nice, nice to meet people had some good conversations and and uh, yeah it's all about connecting with people in life I think. Guys this is Nick, he watched my videos and he came down today to say hi and hang out and he's offered us a lift to go and get some food. I also got given a rose today which is nice so thanks for the rose. One of, one of the girls I met gave it to me. This is where we're going guys, Shou Jin. What we ordered on the menu was this thing where she just keeps on bringing out loads of food. <laughs> we were worried to begin with but I think it's looking good now. We're getting enough. I don't even know what everything is. What's this? Cookie, spicy pumpkin cookie, and pumpkin pudding, yeah. and this is called opera. Do we need to get another one of these? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just going with this chocolate orange cake. This, this is amazing. So I've spent the whole evening in the apartment with Nick and Ange, and we actually watched The Cove, which is a documentary about um, dolphin slaughter in Japan which was a bit of an eye-opener and kind of ties on from the rest of today for me which has been about um, the environment and global warming but for me that all ties in with um, the planet and the life on the planet including all the wildlife and that ties in with this journey I'm on um, trying to live more sustainably and ethically. Um, it's a massive journey I'm going to be honest and I know, like I was saying earlier, there's lots of ways I can improve. I would love actually some feedback because I've been really racking my brain today about how can I act actively choose to live with a, a smaller carbon footprint. Now I know you're going to say stop flying everywhere but realistically the life I've chosen, the opportunities I've got uh, to travel and share my travels with you guys and make a difference in a bigger way, I, I'm gonna keep flying. Now, I would love some real advice uh, about other ways I can, in, and, and not like not like ridiculous ideas, because it could have been like, oh, we could have walked home instead of getting an Uber, but that would have taken five hours. So I, I genuinely think like transport is, is, is the biggest um, way that I'm, I'm contributing to global warming um, but there may be other things I'm not aware of so anyway if you guys are more researched than me I would love some um, feedback and some stuff uh, if you can leave in the comments just some ideas um, I will be talking quite a bit about this stuff over the next couple of weeks and answering back and it, like a discussion with you guys as well about it because this does mean a lot to me and it's the first time in my life that I'm really adamant I want to make some changes in my life so um, as things unfold over the next couple of weeks in Paris and governments making um, commitments to things and um, maybe revealing, I was reading an article saying they're gonna be revealing new uh, initiatives and technologies and stuff like that to, that are gonna tackle uh, climate things. I'm sure I'll be talking about those things. Um, anyway, so that's, that's what's been on my mind tonight. I'm just thinking a lot about the world we live in and my impact on it and how I can help and be a better global citizen and a better human being. 
And on another uh, subject and something I'd love your opinion on, and I said I would uh, keep you involved with this, a lot of you fed back the other day that you enjoyed being kept in the, the, uh, the story of story, the app, so you enjoy the feedback and, and being involved in what's happening. So um, I've just got one question for you. I'm not going to bore you any longer. I've been talking for a while. Got one question for you. Um, do you think there is room in your life for another video social media app? And if so, what's missing from current social media video apps? Um, where's yeah, like what's missing and what would you love to have as someone that wants to make potentially and wants to watch short form videos on your phone. So let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions or ideas or things that we haven't done yet on the app, if you've had a look at the app, or if you haven't looked at it and you're just like, oh, I'd really love this in my life or this would be a cool thing to have. Um, just anything, any ideas would be awesome. Uh, like I said, I'd love to include you guys on this whole journey. Um, so we're still in the process of building something and I want you to build it with me and Nick. On that note, I'm going to get some sleep and um, we are leaving here tomorrow. We're going to go and move in with Jesse and Gina for the night uh, at their Airbnb down the road. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.